guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today I'm inviting you to the Super Spell Heroes Community Contest. Design an actual skin for the game Super Spell Heroes. The question is what would an ultimate wizard wear? And I show you how I created my skin for the contest. <laughs> Before we get started with the tutorial, I would like to show you the gameplay of Super Spell Heroes, so that you get an idea of the game and also the game design. The game is all about epic wizards casting powerful spells and you can do that by combining these element cards you see right now. So it's really pretty easy to learn, but after hours still challenging. So let's get started, let's create our powerful wizard. Because, well, however, no respectable wizard should ever jump into a duel without a badass outfit. This is what the contest says from Superspell Heroes. I would like to thank today's sponsor for this video and also the sponsor of this great contest. I appreciate that, Superspell Heroes. Thanks a lot that you really try to include the community into the actual game design. I love that. Thank you. So, I show you how I created my character, my skin for the contest, for the community contest. And why I think this is the most epic wizard of all time. In the game itself there are different wizard skins and the first three unlockable characters are Senron, Jane and Tobin. And in this contest you can decide one of these wizards and you can upgrade and use your imagination to upgrade their skins and to make them just look badass. I decided to go with Tobin. I liked his character right away, but wanted to do some badass modifications to the skin. Let's have a look at the three characters you can unlock first. This is Zenron. He already looks quite badass. Here you see some suggestions on how he could look like. I thought everyone would pick him, so I went with Tobin. Um, he just looks nice, the nice guy next door, but I wanted to make him uh, look a bit scary. This is the woman of the three, Jane, with his stuff as well. She's also great, I think, for some modifications of the skin. You can go as crazy as you would like with your design. Um, of course, when you are the actual winner of the contest, the game designers have to match your design to the real game design. So there will be some changes, but I think this is okay because it has to fit into the game as well. Yeah, for my design, I just decided to change the color of the trousers and also the shoes. I realized that after I created this black dress with a red belt, I thought that color-wise there should be more differentiation. This is why I changed it. So these are tiny, tiny horns. This is some decoration for the skin. And now we start coating the arms. By the way, uh, the aluminum wire, it's pretty much the same technique I used before on many, many characters. Pretty simple, because you make sure that all the proportions are right. I can upload the blueprint I used on Twitter, so maybe this is helpful for you if you want to design it also with clay. Um, you can also participate by just drawing, so this is also possible in the contest. How can you participate in the contest? Well, you just go crazy, you just design your wizard skin and then you post it to Twitter or Instagram by using the hashtag SuperspellHeroes and your game name. Tobin is wearing these funny gloves where the middle finger is sticking inside the glove. 
haven't seen that before. Well, I think uh, arch archers are using these funny kind of gloves. I'm not sure about that. So, now we are coating the fur, because Tobin should look like a bit orcish. <laughs> a bit wild. So, this is why I decided to go with this fur. And now we start working on the details. Before you start creating or participating in the contest, you may want to download the game. It is available for iOS and Android. I'll include the link in the description. I think the global launch was just a few days ago, so the game is really new. I looked at the design, which was already there. It was very soft with bright color schemes throughout the game. Um, it's somehow family friendly because it has this cartoon style of the characters. So quite funny and nice. <laughs> so this is why I didn't choose to include a skull or blood to my design <laughs> of the skin. So let's work on the face. I tried to get Tobin's face as near as possible to the original one in the game. But because he should look like, really like the wild person, like an orc shaman, something like that, I am adding the mask with the horns so that he looks a bit like devil, devilish. <laughs> I think this is important to mention. The contest just started this week on Monday and will close on September 14th. So you have two weeks to create your designs. I'm putting mine onto the plate and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Tobin without hair. <laughs> I'm using my hand drill so that we can include a tiny piece of aluminum wire sticking the head onto the torso. And now we will work on the orc mask. Maybe it even looks like a skull. It's not that family friendly at all. <laughs> and the eyes should just be black because this is what this cartoon style looks like in the game. It's not too detailed, but there are still some details, but I didn't want to, to make it just too much. Just creating a tiny color gradient, and it's it can hardly be seen, but um, the horns are just getting a bit brighter at the thinner point at the top. And we will stick it to the skull. To the mask and also adding these nice red dots and this is somehow the flag from the clay claim logo i thought it would be nice to include that as well so the weapon or the, the wand of tobin i tried to be as near as possible to the original one he's using but because the character itself is wearing a mask, I thought it would be quite funny if his cat would also hide underneath this piece of bedsheet. Only the tail can be seen of his black cat. Before we put everything into the oven for the second time, let me tell you why you may want to participate as well. There is something to win. Yes, third place entrant will have their costume design faithfully recreated in the game, of course. And you get a Copic sketch marker set, 24 pieces. Ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked pieces of Tobin. And while assembling, second prize entrant will have their costume design faithfully recreated in the game. Plus, you get a Wacom Bamboo Slate Smart Pad. Great for creating in the digital way of art. And the first place, of course, the costume design will be included into the game. And you get a MacBook Pro 13-inch with a one-year Adobe Creative Suite. 
it is the subscription I am using as well on a daily basis. And while doing the last working steps, thanks a lot Superspell Heroes for this cool contest. I finished my design. That's it, Tobin! I hope you enjoyed today's video. Before it's over, download the game. It is for free. You get the link in the description. Then get some inspiration and start creating. Create the most epic wizard skin of all time and participate in the community contest by posting your artwork on Twitter and Instagram by using this hashtag. I'm looking forward to see all your crazy artworks. Have a great creative weekend. Take care. Bye. No, wait. The most epic wizard sounds like... <laughs> or maybe more like... No, no, no. <laughs> Bye.